I'm Dr. James Kelly, and my practice is known as Kelly Vision Center, and I have offices in New York City and Long Island. So SMILE is the latest iteration in the laser vision correction modalities. And the difference between SMILE and LASIK has to do with the incision size. With SMILE, the incision size, it's really, it's a microscopic incision. And what this allows for is really rapid recuperation of vision and return to normal activities. So I tell my SMILE patients that they can rub their eyes right after surgery. They can wear eye makeup right away. They don't have to sleep with goggles on. So there's really no restrictions to their activities immediately following the procedure. I often get asked who would be a candidate for SMILE. It's really the same types of patients that would be a candidate for LASIK and even more so. Because the incision with SMILE is very small, people who engage in hobbies like kickboxing or martial arts where there's a tendency to get hit in the eye, those are patients I consider even better candidates for SMILE because the incision is tiny and it heals right away. It's basically all the people that would be candidates for LASIK and then some. This SMILE procedure takes about 10 minutes which is similar in time to what LASIK takes. Those patients often don't have that scratchy, gritty feeling after the procedure. They don't have to be in a dark room for a few hours. Truth be told, the recuperation is so rapid that the next day they can just schedule their normal day. The risk with SMILE are the same as the risk with LASIK except what we know about SMILE is that there appears to be less dry eye after the procedure. Although dry eye is a risk after SMILE, we see it less commonly than we do with LASIK. There's still the potential for the need for a second procedure. There's still light sensitivity after the procedure, but these dissipate very rapidly. Patients have been to other consultations. Sometimes they're told that they're not a candidate, they become dejected and despondent over that. But I tell them, please come in for another consultation with me because they may be a candidate for other procedures like SMILE or implantable contact lenses that aren't done at the other places that they've been to and they weren't even mentioned to them. So please come in, I'll educate you as to what the best option may be for you.